Hello guys and welcome to a kind of mini tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you how to download and install a mod. So what you want to do, you want to have your computer on, have families in, installed, stuff like that. And then you want to go to Google, I use Google Chrome, and go to the mod site that you're going to use. I'm going to use the official farming, farming simulator site. So we go there. So you click on the website and then you go to mods on this particular site and there's many different things on this page now you want to go to the mod that you'd like to install so I'll have a quick look at which mod I may like to get so we'll get this mod and it's going to come up here with the page so a couple of pictures don't worry about that now what you want to do is you want to click the Windows download. Now this is for mods from the Farming Simulator website. So they come with a .exe file. So then you want to go to like the file browser, downloads, and then you want to click on the ooh, I'm just trying to make this a bit bigger for you, view. Bigger. So then you want to click on that one. The icon the mod. And I come up with this kind of notification type thing pop up and the farming simulator 15 mod is successfully installed so you click OK. Now that's how to do farming simulator mods from the farming sim website, the official farming sim website. <laughs> Get ones from a different site such as FSUK, we'll use that site. So FSUK go there and then you go onto website just go onto mods now choose a mod that you like I think I'll choose this depending on how big it is no nope, time a bit too big if you want a small one so, uh, so you can look for the mod you want just have a quick look in tractors and we'll try there. What are these? Anyway, find the mod that you'd like. Choose that New Holland T6 there. And you want to click download on the manual installation. Then downloading mod download shortly. So here you can see it's downloading. So once it's downloaded, you want to go back into your downloads folder and it will be there that will be your mod so you want to right click click copy go to your documents folder and find the my games folder you want to click in there and this, there might maybe a few other games depending on where you've installed it all then you want to go to farming simulator 2015 so double click on there they come up with this page here so it's quite a few different things if you haven't got cosplay that won't be there so don't worry if you haven't got that then you want to go to mods so you can see I've got quite a lot of mods probably a lot more than I should use and then you want to go to click on the home again to click the paste and it will paste it in there now you did that's all you need to do if you leave it in the compressed file file folder thing the dot zip folder then it should definitely work in multiplayer however I believe if you unzip it and take it out it will not work at all in multiplayer because it needs a zip folder to kind of communicate I think I think that's what I heard anyway so that's how to download and install a mod so one from farming sim official website and one from another site such as FSUK now occasionally there will be a website such as mod hoster that when you want to kind of download a mod there will be so I don't know we'll go for got to find one that looks as if it could maybe download to another website go to that warning trailers one it's not loading yet just close them down second 
So, I've come up with another thing like that. I think this is in German, something like that. I could either say direct download or download from another site. Now, when it comes downloads from another site, which I believe those ones do, it's on mod host, so you got the little icon icon for kind of where it's uploaded to. Mod host is being a bit slow today. So it'll come up with that icon when it's loaded. Oops. Scroll down and there's a download link. And you want to click on there. Quite often I do not suggest you do this because it's not the safest way to get the mods and for a site like this you can only do one every 180 minutes which is bad, I hate that. So you want to click free download, that'll download, there's a capture code, capture, I think that's how you say it anyway, capture code that you have to type in and then it'll start downloading. And then you just want to do basically what I did on with that mod, just right click, copy, documents, my games, FS2015, so that folder, mods, and then paste it in there or click control V. And that'll do it for you. So that's the end of my tutorial today. If you want to see more tutorials of like like these, please comment below and please share this video, like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.